seriously? I have last year this day in. Close your eyes, don't get seasick. Maybe it'll work. Uh, today is February 4th, 2020. I thought I'd do a quick update in my Mondop Stitches sweatshirt that I got some smoothie on it this morning. Uh, let's see. Life updates. My daughter's had her recheck with her oncologist. Everything's good. Uh, she ended up having a CT and all that just to confirm. And everything's good. So, thing though, last Friday, she ended up in a car accident. Sorry, trying to get the lighting better, but again, it's this room. Um, there were three cars at the stoplight. She was car number two. Everybody was stopped. It's red. Light turned to green. Car number three thought that car number one was taking too long and rear-ended her. And she hit her or something that her car number three's car was actually stuck under the bumper of my daughter's vehicle. And my daughter has a, I think it's a Rogue, one of those crossover SUV things, mini SUVs or whatever you call them. Yeah, so she has to get a new bumper. And that was after she woke up Friday morning to a big water stain on the ceiling of her apartment. And the car, I guess the carpet in her closet was all wet. None of her items were wet, but the carpet was. So they, uh, my, uh, when I talked to her yesterday, the water, they fixed the leak, whatever it was, but now they need to go in and sheetrock and fix all that. So she's still sleeping in her living room rather than her bedroom, but this apartment complex tends to get things done faster than her previous one. So that's a good thing. But it was kind of a bad day for her in that respect. And I feel sorry for her. You know, those things happen, and it, it's just not fun. Uh, I talked to my Marine last week. He is getting ready to be deployed outside of the U.S. So he'll be home, but I'm not sure exactly when. Um, and then he'll be gone anywhere from six months to a year. Again, it is the military. They say one thing and do another. Um, Health-wise for me, I don't have an ulcer, but we're trying to figure out what's going on. That's essentially what's happening. Um, but, stitching. The monthly gathering that my daughter, my middle daughter and I try to go to, we had a gift exchange, and it was a lot of fun. It, getting together with other stitchers, it just kind of reignites your passion and it's just fun to sit there and gab and talk and laugh and we had a gift exchange and so this is the box I chose by a lady um, there who I was the first to draw the the from the gifts she actually ended up picking mine so I thought that was kind of interesting and inside and I, I'm trying to like reorganize my craft stuff and I'm looking, I like these boxes. And so I have some bigger ones and I wanted some smaller ones, so perfect. And some ginger scissors, ginger scissors, ginger scissors, however you say them, the stork ones. So I haven't put these on a key fob yet to use them. But uh, yeah, when I first started cross stitching I used stork scissors. And I like, um, I like that brand. And then a couple pieces of Ada. I want to say this is 18 count. This is perfect for ornaments. So I haven't picked anything to stitch on it. One's like a creamy cream. And one's a white. Or one's an antique white and a white. There's a slight difference. I don't think you could see it on camera. But So I did that. That was a lot of fun. And my middle daughter went with me. She ended up receiving... We gave a pair of scissors. Because these are my favorite kind of scissors here. These super snips, or I, I don't even know what they call them. Love these scissors. So we gave a pair of these and a scissor fob. So I gave a set, and then she gave a set, so she was able to, you know, gift for gift type of thing. She received a project bag and one of those thread floss keepers from uh, from the the person that 
the serial starter and uh, Brenda and the serial starter, they always talk about the little floss ring thingies. And I don't remember what it's called. Blanking on the name. I don't have them. She has them up in her room. So we did that. That was a lot of fun. And then when we were at Stitchville that day, I ended up getting a few things. And my daughter said, Mom, they have, in the clearance section, they have some Plum Street, or, uh, excuse me, Rosewood Manors. But I picked up Winter Salt Boxes by Plum Street. So this is the last in the series. I have the other three. I love this one. Love, love, love that one. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to stitch them. <clears throat> if I want to, excuse me, if I want to do smalls and then put them together or somehow. So sorry. <clears throat> the air is really dry and it gets to you. Or if I want to, this calls for, well, I guess DMC alternatives. Although that big red there, whatever that one is, which I'd have to look at the pattern, probably red current. I'd probably buy that over dyed and then not the others. Just use DMC. But I'll worry about it when I get there. But now I need to figure out how to stitch them. <clears throat> and I have not had a scratchy voice all day long until you do a video. Dewdrops, Nora Corbett. I love this here. Although I think. Is it that one? Yeah, this one, I'm thinking the dress needs to be a different color. And I haven't figured out what color that is. So I'll have to noodle on that. And this one. Uh, water Sprite. I like the color on this one. I mean, the color on this one is just fine, and they look good together. It's just, I, sometimes you look at a pattern and you see it in a different color. But I, I like that. I like her face. So, uh, yeah, Nora Corbett. And these are what Rosewood Manors we found. Welcome to the, my garden. I love the colors in this. Witherspoon Manor. Give me a friend. And again, I picked these all up at Stitchville in their clearance area. Good in everything. It's a book. So this one's going to be a big one. It says, in this our life, exempt from public... Public what? Haunt? No. Yeah, I can read that. <laughs> Public manor? I thought I knew what it said. From public haunt. Finds. Huh. From public haunt finds tongues and trees, books in the running brooks. So it's from William Shakespeare. Sermons in stones and good in everything. That's why it's so wonky. And this our life, exempt from public haunt, finds tongues in trees, books in the running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in everything. So I liked it. I thought it was really pretty. American flag quilt sampler. So it says one nation under God on the stripes, but each of these represents a state. And I'm not sure the order she put them in. I, uh, if she put them, they're, they're not in. I don't think they're in order they join the union, but I could totally be wrong on that. I haven't really studied it too closely. This one I loved, loved, loved the colors. Phoebe Warner quilt. Although this person here is kind of weird. Do you see that? Kind of odd. And this one, which was on my wish list, Crosses of the Kingdom. I've seen the model for this one. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Don't know if it's two or three colors of metallic. No, actually, it's DMC black, and then it's a metallic. They use a DMC metallic. Um, 
So you could do both the black and the gold in metallic. Anyway, added to my Rosewood Manor collection. And then on Friday night, this last Friday, I went to Stitch Night at Stitchville. Oh, we had so much fun. So much fun. A lot of laughter. And I actually ended up leaving two of my pieces, my finishes, to be fully finished by Deb. And so I'll show those when those come. But speaking of finishes, I actually have two to add. Twinkle Twinkle Rosewood Manor. I finished it. I chose to not do this part. If I would stitched it on white or a lighter color, I probably would have put the words in and stuff, but I chose to not do that. And it's stitched on 28 count skinny jeans by Color Cotton. It's finished. Can you see the sparkle? I hope you can see the sparkle because it's absolutely beautiful. It's not beads. It's all petite treasure braid. I think the pattern calls for six colors. I didn't use one of the colors. Yeah, six colors, and I did not use this black because it wouldn't show up on my fabric. But I used all the other colors, and it's just beautiful. And so now I have to figure, figure out how I'm going to fully finish it. I have a couple of different ideas. I just haven't gone to a store to see if my idea will actually work. But we will see what I come up with. So, finish. This is finish number two for 2020. It was started at Galleria in 2019. And it was on my master list of things I wanted to get done this year. Then I decided, I pulled out Buzz Off by Plum Street Samplery. Now, when you look at the picture, it calls for classic color works and weeks. I noticed the variegation in this orange here and the orange that's on the coins in the border. But the others I really couldn't see variegation, so I didn't I used the DMCs except for that orange which is colonial copper. So I used that called for color. It's stitched on 36 count cream. It says Weigart. And I used one strand over two threads. And it is a finish. So you can see in the orange down there, down at the bottom of the bee scap, that's all the same color. And this, this band right here, that's all the same color, but you can see the variegation really nicely. The other colors, I couldn't see a lot of variegation, but I love how they work together. Uh, Paulette really chose beautiful colors. Now, if you look at this pillow, this is stitched on 36 count. This is 36 count. That's one huge pillow. I thought this would be a lot smaller than it actually turned out to be. But, I so, originally I thought, oh, I'll make a pillow out of it. But now it's this, this huge. So I'm not sure how I want to fully finish this piece. But I'm going to make that decision later after I work on this one. Eat Crow. Now these two came out at the same time and this pattern has one more color than this pattern. Meaning it uses the exact same colors as this pattern, it just adds one more and I'm not sure which one it adds. Um, I think it adds Muddy Puddle. But I again, I'm going to use the orange because you can definitely see the variegation in this pumpkin. I'm using that orange, which is colonial copper. Everything else is going to be DMC. So these two pieces, and they're going to be stitched on the same fabric. So they're stitched on the same fabric. They're roughly the same size, I think. 137 by 148. So when I finish, and 140 by 149. So the crow is just a wee bit larger. So I want to finish them so they can be displayed together. Not sure what that means. I will figure that out. So I have two finishes. And then um, I'll have two FFOs when they're done at Stitchville. And my deadline for those, um, one was my anniversary sampler. So my anniversary is in March. Just got plenty of time. So when I was done with Buzz Off, which I finished 
Sunday, I believe. I believe I finished him on Sunday. I think. I looked at my whips and I wasn't sure, wasn't sure, wasn't sure. Oh, another thing I did when I went stitching on Saturday, um, Zelda, I frogged. Because we had tables and I was just able to frog that one section I needed to. I haven't gotten back to her, but I did frog what I needed to remove. So I went, I thought about my whips and I have a wheel with my list. And I pulled this one up, Lady Liberty by um, With Thy Needle and Thread. Brenda Gervais, I believe. I hope that's right. I think it's Brenda Gervais. Yeah. And this is on 36 count Dames of the Needle Saffron. I picked this up at the Tinsmith's Wife in Comfort, Texas when I was there for the Mirabili Retreat in 2018. And it's a really beautiful piece of fabric. And the, the piece of fabric they stitched it on, there are a bunch of stars all around here, and you can't see it on this, well, at least on this photo. And we know the photos are never 100% accurate because if they were, they would charge more for the patterns, and I'd much rather have my money go into patterns and supplies than actually, you know, get a pretty picture. I'll take a pretty picture when I am done stitching it and here's where I'm at now. I am not necessarily using the call for colors but I am using overdyes. So this red I changed it was supposed to be a Valdani and I changed it to I think licorice red and when I'm done I can tell you what colors I used where. I think I actually left it out where I was stitching. But here's where I'm at. So I had just like a little, this part of her bodice. Now all her bodice is done. The red is. I started on, this arm is done. I was working on her face. And then there's the other arm that's holding the flag. And then her skirt, there's a lot of skirt, comes down. There's just a few more rows down here. I ran out of floss. And then that'll be the bottom of the skirt. So she's stitching up nicely. This again is 36 count. I'm using one strand over two threads. And I know that the skin color I'm using is linen, and the white, I don't remember what the white is. So, I, yeah, I'll talk about the colors I used when I get that far. But, yeah, she's stitching up nicely, and I already had her started for the I Lost in Floss sad to hear that Leanne passed away but Barb has the is it finish it February I think is what she's calling it and um, this one's already started so they she's encouraging you to finish things you've already started before February 1st and that's what this one is so I yeah that's really all I have um, my guild my needlework guild of Minnesota they have a March to the finish it's the first weekend in March and I, I'm going it's just down a half hour from me I won't stay overnight at the hotel but you know I, I paid for two days of stitching and then they do meals and so I don't have to worry about meals or anything I just drive there have a lot of fun drive home sleep drive back have a lot of fun so that's my next stitching venture. Um, yeah, it should work. And then we have stitch day again. Third Saturday of February. It will be at the Byerleys in Minnetonka, Minnesota from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Usually it's 11 to 5, but this month it's 11 to 4. So February 22nd. 2020 Byerleys in Minnetonka by Ridgedale Mall and um, there's no fee to go and stitch so if you're in Minnesota and it's kind of nice especially this time of year to get that kind of pick-me-up and we go to Byerleys you can buy your own lunch um, I don't think they let you bring food in but they have that food court there so that's what we usually do 
and then I will go to stitch in again. I should. My husband, his work better not mess with my stitching. <laughs> anyway, um, the last Friday of the month. So that's what I have planned stitching wise. I still have an order out. Um, Marie from Just Add Needles. I had an order with her. Um, her mom did pass away. And so she's been dealing with a lot of that stuff that needs to be done. And um, thankfully she has some helpers with her now to help keep things going. So if you ordered anything and there's a delay, please realize there's a reason for it. And her customer service is, is fabulous. So you will not regret ordering through her. Um, but she just, she has some family stuff to do. She's also giving some interesting market sneak peeks. There's one item I know I'm going to get, and that's with thy needle and, or not with thy needle, excuse me, um, heartstring samplery, her companion piece to his eyes on the sparrow. I'm going to get that one. Yeah. I, I don't think the title's been released. I saw a sneak peek little corner thing. And I love Beth's patterns, Beth Twist's patterns, so that one I'm definitely getting. Not sure on anything else. But yeah, we have market coming up. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm going to go make sure the kids aren't destroying the house. We had our Marine had his 23rd birthday, the 28th of January. Uh, another son had his 8th birthday. 30th of January. Yesterday was my middle daughter's 17th birthday. She's 17. This should be nice. And next Monday will be another son who will be turning 6. So yeah, it's birthday season here. And then we can skip until March and then we can skip until July. <laughs> but um, yeah, a lot. Of, we have four birthdays in January and two in February and one in March. So that's half the kids right there. But I... Um, Love this community and the the outpouring for Leanne and her family. I think it's fabulous. And um, yeah, I just wanted to keep encouraging people. I might put a couple of newer to me floss tubers below. Aussie. Oh, I blinked on it. I'll put a link to below. There's a couple that we can bump up their numbers subscription wise. Um, I don't watch everybody I'm subscribed to because there's just not enough time. But I'll go back when I have time and go, oh yeah, I gotta go back and check their videos. So, I hope that you're having a blessed February, getting some stitching in, even if it's two stitches, that counts. And I will talk to you probably in two or three weeks. And, um, yeah, have a safe... February. I mean, we're still in winter here in the northern half of the earth. And January wasn't too bad in Minnesota, but it makes me worry about February. But, um, yeah. Love to you all. My email, Instagram's below. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Love to you all.